Hello. Today's reading lessons for Wednesday. Okay, again, we'll practice our word wall words or our sight words. I'm going to randomly point to words and I'd like for you to read them. This one is make good. How put good eat out takes and about. Very good. All right, so uh, yesterday we talked about uh, asking and answering questions, and that helps us to um, comprehend our reading. And one of our word wall words was a question word right here, who. Who helps you get a book at the library? So then we had a discussion about Mrs. Luke is the one who helps us. You know what her job title is called? Uh, what's, what would we call a person who helps you check out books at a library? Yeah, it's a librarian. Very good. Okay, so here are some of the sight words, and we have some word shapes. Uh, each of the boxes represent a letter, and um, let's see, I can use a little pencil here, and uh, we can write the, the letters inside the box here. So, uh, if it's a little box, it means it's going to be a little letter, what I also call a chicken letter, because that would be a letter that would not cross the road. Here, it doesn't go past the midline. If it's a tall letter, call that a giraffe letter. It's in the big neck that sticks up. And although we don't have any monkey letters in these particular words, a monkey letter has a tail, and so then it would hang down here. The box, I guess, would be a little bit longer down here, and it would have a tail that would hang below the bottom line. Okay, so here's an example of what I mean. If I were to write my name, all names have to begin with a capital letter, and I'm writing my first name. Not counting the capital letter, E is a, a chicken letter because it doesn't go past the midline. Uh, L's are giraffe letters because they have tall necks that stick up here and touch the top line. And a Y, it has a tail, so it goes past the bottom line. Okay, now let me erase all that. So that's not really what we're supposed to do on this page. I just wanted to explain what I meant by uh, chicken letter and giraffe letter and monkey letter. All right, so uh, which of these words has three letters, and the first two letters are chicken letters, and then the last one is a giraffe letter. It's not gonna be this one. It has too many letters, doesn't it? Okay, actually, it could be one of two words, because number one here has uh, this shape, and look, number six has the same shape. So we've got two words that would fit in these shapes. Do you see which two words it would be? Yep, one of them is the word O-U-T. What does that say? Out, yes. So it fits O-U-T. And then the other one is, let's use that one, we'll scribble it out. The other one is, yep, this one right here, E. A T. Do you know what that says? Eat. E A T. Okay, now this one is a four letter word. Not that one, it has five letters. Three, three, oh, right here. Oh, I forgot to scratch out that one too. M-A-K-E. So this one has a giraffe letter, the third letter. Yep, that'll fit in here. And that word is make. Okay, so writing it on the lines here. You don't want your humps to go past the midline. You don't want your circle to go past the midline. Now that K. Whoa, that's crooked. Let me try again. Straight line. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> and E. All right. Now, 
this one has how many letters? One, two, three, four, five. Cross that one out. Yeah, it's gonna have to be this one, isn't it? Two giraffe letters, yep, at the beginning. And right in the middle. And what is this word? Takes, yeah. It's on the lines like this. You could be writing these words on a piece of paper. Okay, we've got two three letter words left. This one, what is that word? Who and how. Oh, wait a minute. When I look at these words, they all have the same letters. They're just in a different order. W-H-O. W-H-O. This one says who. And it goes right here. It has the H in the middle. And the H has the tall stick. Who. What's that other word? H-O-W. That one says how. H-O-W. H-O-W. All right, very good. Now, I have to erase all of these where it's gonna show up on the next slide. So actually, look, I can just clear all the drawings. Ta-da! And now I have to go back to my mouse and go to the next slide. All right, this is just a kind of a review of the vowels that we've covered so far. Say igloo, igloo, ig, ig, igloo. Good, say this one with me. Octopus, octopus, oct, oct, octopus. Good. Now this one, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to say the sound, and I want you to say it. Umbrella. 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 Good. Uh, uh. And then, yeah, okay. Um, here, I'm going to say two words, and I want you to tell me if they have the same vowel sound. Okay. Let me get my book out. I put it away, forgetting I needed to use it for this. Okay, so if I say, <clears throat> okay. if I say hot and hat, are hot and hat the same, do they have the same vowel sound or do they have different vowel sounds? Hot and hat. They have a different vowel sound, don't they? So that one uh, actually would be no. They do not have the same vowel sound. Okay. What about these two words? Pit and pot. Do they have the same vowel sound? Pit, pot. No, they don't. What about jet and jet? Yeah, it's the same word, so they have the same vowel sound, jet and jet, yes. How about wag and wig? Do they have the same vowel sound in the middle? Wag and wig. No, they don't. What about not and nut? Not and nut. Ah and uh. Nope. They're different, aren't they? How about, uh, let's see, hut and hot. Hut and hot. They are not the same either, are they? How about this? Tin and win. Tin and win. Yeah, they have the same vowel sound. Good. All right. Um, you remember how we would say the individual sounds of the letters and then blend it all together? 
I'll do the individual sounds. You blend it together and say the word. W, I, N. When, good. J, A, G. Jog, good. Y, A, M. Yum, good. V, I, N. Vin, good. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, how about now you do the sounds and say the word? <coughs> now the word is cut. Sorry, got a little tickle in my throat. <coughs> how about this one? Yep, hot. His, good. Rub, good job. <coughs> okay, and this one, uh, this word right here says antonyms. Antonyms are words that mean the opposite. We watched a video last week about opposites. I hope you remember that. And it says that uh, we need to circle the two words that are the antonyms in each row. So we're going to look at these three words. Which two words are the are the opposites? Um, let's see. Let me get my little pencil back out. Okay, fast, slow, and quick. Which two are opposites? Yeah, it would be fast and slow. How about stay, go, stop? Stay, go, stop. Yeah, I hope you're saying go and stop. How about wet, damp, dry? Up, wet and dry. How about sad, happy, and glad? Yeah, sad and happy. Very good. All right, down here it says stretch and read, but actually you already did that on that last slide before. So we're all done with our reading lessons for today. Um, in math, we did um, a page that's kind of like a quiz to check my progress. And so um, I think I'll just say, hang on to that paper for you. And actually I can, I'll put a picture of what that paper looks like. And maybe you can have, you can write the answers on another piece of paper, have mom take a picture of it and send it to me. That way I can, can grade it for you. All right, stay tuned. Click on the math page in order to see that.